Maxwell by Sound has evolved from hip hop to Afro soul, and he continues to flex his versatility in an effort to connect his audiences through song to their ancestry and spirituality. A soothing, velvety, sultry voice that is Max. Welcome to The Loft. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, Max, you're a legend. I mean, you've played such a pivotal role, not only in the hip-hop space, but also within the Afro-soul stage. Yeah. And um, you've definitely made a name for yourself on the global stage. But I want to find out from you, where did your love and your journey for music start? Um, yo, I think it started uh, back in Valcom, where I was born, you know, um, singing in... in talent shows, I formed a, a boy band called um, Mood Swing with friends of mine who are fortunately still in the industry as well right now. And and I think after like I think after getting paid like fifty bucks or seventy bucks, what? I was like, there's money here in this <laughs> thing, you know? <laughs> so I, I kinda carried on and then I joined the Dancing Sensations and, and we did tours, you know, um, at different resorts around mm. the country. And then obviously after high school I was like there's no there's nothing else I can do. I'm gonna do I'm gonna be in the creative space, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So from those humble beginnings in Valcom all the way to um, having monumental moments with Abantun Jengo double HP and Ringo Majingos. Yeah. I mean, please may you just tell me about some of the highlights that you've experienced along the way. Um, you know, I, I think I was very fortunate that when I moved to Joburg, um, happened to live on the same street with double HP, you know, and and we, we met up as he was frustrated because his first album didn't go as well as he would have wanted because remember hip hop was not yeah. an, a thing back then. And and we just decided to like, let's, I'll sing, you rap and let's let's see how this thing goes you know wow and and we started i remember we started doing gigs at rao which is now uj and over time i then started getting introduced to, to more and more people within the industry and realizing that everyone's dream we have the same dream we we just here to make it no one comes to Joburg as a an already and recognized entity so i think over time I, I i became so blessed to be working with the likes of uh, upudringo i worked with the likes of don laga and wow. you know so yeah it's been blessings and blessings obviously it's not been a smooth road throughout but it never is still appreciate it yeah i mean well may double h's uh, double hp soul rest in peace you know in remembrance of him when you think of such interactions and what you've learned from the different artists that you've been able to engage with whether it's the practical tool of just ginger and how ginger helps your vocal yeah. cords <laughs> to the more um extreme more technical sides of music yeah um look i, I think what I, I i i was fortunate with as well is that um i I've, I picked up certain things that I knew are going to work for me in in the music going forward, you know. And um, from a technical and business point, mm. I, I then armed myself with um, a certificate in, in music publishing because I remember going to Sam Brother one time asking for a loan and they're like, dude, you don't have enough royalties for us to wow. give you a loan. And I was like, okay, how do I guarantee that I get my publishing going? And they said, there's a program at Wirtz University, go study this thing. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got very interested in the business side of things, you know, and and that has helped me even when going overseas to other African countries in order to start yeah. doing business transactions with people, yeah. I like that. I love the. F I love someone who doesn't only take a natural craft and take it for granted, but yeah. you believe in sharpening your sword yeah. time and time again, whether it's educating yourself or whether it's getting stuck into the business side of it. And yeah. I think that's what a lot of artists overlook. Yeah. Um, but you have now reached a, spa a point in your life where you're ready to release your third studio album that is incredible i want to find out all about it tell me the yeah. title tell me when you want to release it and what it's all about the process of making it okay the, um, so the album is titled Bayele. um it actually um is out already on digital platforms yes. um and it's it's a project that that 
I, I, I was really, it's one of the only projects that I was like, I really need this to work out the way I've, see, I've seen it in my dreams, you know. And so I worked with a producer, David Feldgerol, in, in Paris. Okay. So I, for about two years, I was doing back and forth trips between South Africa and Paris. I worked with a lot of African musicians based in Paris, guys from Guinea, from Togo, from, yeah, from all over, and, and you know, and, and came back the side to record my band and featured the the likes of Bushi Bendalo from the soil, oh, I love um, that. the legendary Fl Freddy Guala. Um, I featured Stone from Bongo Muffin. Yes. So it's been it's been a nice uh, mixture of of preparedness, luck, and beautiful energies. Mm. So when you listen to that album, Ozozo Agfostelo. But I, we just do I love nice that. Music. You know, you can't force talent, you can't yeah. force collaborations. You yeah. need to trust each other. You have to have that vibe and that sure. energy. So we want to tap into all of that towards the end of the show. You've got an incredible performance lined up. I mean, yeah. you've got a pianist, it's yourself. And you know, everyone teases me when I try to say this word, a saxophonist. <laughs> <laughs> That too can work. <laughs> that too can work. Okay, I love yeah. it though, um, because it's that talent that's come together that you're going to give us uno dolwami towards the yes, end. Um, so do not go anywhere, get comfortable, because our Friday has only just started. Now, South Africa, um, towards the end of the show, as o -O 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 Max has said that he is about to perform for us, but we have to also overcome some challenges that we find in the music industry, whether it's parents who don't believe in your dream or who struggle to push you forward. So coming up after these, we're going to touch down at the AMP Studios by Old Mutual where we touch base with Abigail Kubeka and of course Uzoe Mudija as we find out how to overcome that obstacle.